Most people wouldn't look to a small town in western Minnesota to find the future, but students, faculty, and staff at the University of Minnesota Morris, along with the people of Stevens County, are building a new framework for living in an energy-challenged world. Over 100 years ago, when the town of Morris was founded along a branch of the rail line, farmers produced their own food, their own energy, and their own way of life. Sustainability wasn't optional. We've done this for over 100 years. We've developed into what we are because what we have, not what we don't have. Today, that model of independence inspires a broad range of community and college initiatives that are remaking the way energy is produced and used, but also the way that young people understand their role as citizens in a changing environment. One part of the story rises dramatically above the banks of the Palme de Terre River, just east of town. Steady prairie winds make Morris an ideal location for wind turbines. On a windy day, these turbines provide 100% of our electrical energy. Our combined heat and power plant uses the corn cobs behind me as fuel. We purchased these cobs from our local farmer and there's approximately 600 tons here, which equates to an additional $50,000 of income for the farmer. These cobs come from only 750 acres of corn and will run our campus for heating and cooling for approximately 30 days. With this in mind, Morris encourages new thinking about energy and resources. Creating a sustainable community means asking a really big question, what sustains us? From the time we get up in the morning to the time we get to bed, we're making decisions that impact future generations as well as the environmental services that support us. So instead of taking our waste to the incinerator and thinking of our waste as trash, we can actually make it into compost, which becomes a valuable soil amendment for our campus. I've been working with off-campus students doing energy audits and knowing and understanding how you use energy and how to conserve it. We've also been doing work with White Earth Indian Reservation on pinpointing buildings that need retrofits. At Morris, these initiatives take place across the liberal arts curriculum, in a new environmental science major, and in places you might not expect. Fashion Trashion works with the idea of using found objects, but taking um, the idea of something so thrown away and making something wearable and beautiful out of it that can be shown in a runway show. It gives the students the ultimate challenge of taking something that's forgotten and beyond its purpose and giving it a whole new life. For younger children, the initiatives continue with a new play, Sophie and the Adventures of Ice Island. Everyone can help. Plus, once the island stops melting, oh, it doesn't have to be going all the time only when you need it. Well then what are we waiting for? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Living on the edge of the prairie feels a little bit like being a pioneer. And perhaps that's what we all are, pioneers setting out into a new energy frontier. Our focus on sustainable energy in Morris is part of a conversation, and it's a conversation about how we should live in the present, how we should live in the future. It involves scientists and artists and engineers, and most importantly, it's a conversation that we should all be part of.